Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and every Tuesday night I come in here on my Facebook page and I paint with you guys and tonight we're going to be painting a scarecrow. This is actually one of the blanks that I have in my shop. It has all of the lines laser etched in the surface. Can you see that? How cute is that? And we're going to be painting this. I also have the printable template for just five bucks if that's something you'd be interested in. And all right, so let's get started. I do want to tell you guys tonight while I've got you on here about my fall door hanger challenge. How many of you guys participated in the spring door hanger challenge? Is anybody here that participated in that? I'm looking for a flesh color. I may not have one. I may have to make one. We need like a skin tone color for our scarecrow guy here. I'm mixing together a khaki color with a little bit of pink and we're gonna make our own little skin tone color. I don't know if I've got anybody on here who participated in the spring challenge or not. We're just about out of this pink. And um, so, how does your shirt, how it didn't print backwards. It's because we're in selfie mode here on my iPad and Facebook won't let me flip it. So that's why the wording on my sign is backwards also. Um, but anyways, what are we talking about? The spring door hanger challenge. It starts next Monday, September 16th. So a lot of you guys have been asking when you can join Painter's Clubhouse. Well, I've got something leading up to Painter's Clubhouse that will kind of be like a little appetizer for those of you who are interested. It is called the Fall Door Hanger Challenge. I saw that Erica said she participated in the spring one. What it is, is it's just $10. I give you the template um, to paint. That's not going to be light enough. I give you the template to cut out your own shape. And then I give you painting tutorials to show you how to paint them and I walk you through step by step and hopefully by the end of the challenge you have painted and created your very first door hanger. So do you guys want to see what the fall challenge is going to be? You want to see what what we'll be painting? So for just ten dollars if you're interested you can say link down below and sign up. You'll be signing up to learn how to paint this really beautiful, thankful fall leaf. And I know it's backwards lettering, so you'll just have to imagine what it would look like, mirrored image. Um, in the fall door hanger challenge, this is what we're going to be painting. I will show you in two, two different videos, step by step, how to do that beautiful ombre design and then how to do um, the thankful lettering. You'll be getting two templates technically. You'll be getting one that is, this is still too dark, <laughs> I just keep mixing paint. Um, you'll be getting one that is the printable template for the shape of the leaf and another one for the uh, thankful lettering so that you can use graphite paper to make your lettering look exactly like mine. Lisa said I did it and it was great. Awesome! Connie did the spring one. So if you're a Painters Clubhouse member, you get to do this challenge with us for free. All you have to do is go and request to join the group if you're already a Painters Clubhouse member. If you're not a Painters Clubhouse member, you just need to say link down below. It will take you over to my shop. All you have to do is pay the $10 to sign up. It will send you an, e an email. Now the M email will come from a company called Send Owl. They're the ones who deliver those emails. Um, and you just download the PDF that comes in that email. And that's all you really have to do. Inside that, in the, inside that PDF, there will be your template that you can download and print to cut your own shape. And there will be, um, a link to go over and join the Facebook group and once you're inside the Facebook group there's a unit section and inside the unit section is a tutorial for how to use a jigsaw and um, how to like what kind of paint supplies to buy and stuff like that just to get you started that way next Monday on September 26th or September 16th when we start the challenge you will be ready to go you'll have your blank cut or purchased because if you don't want to paint your if you don't want to cut your own you can buy the blank from me of the fall leaf this is what I'm talking about for those of you who are interested it's for the fall door hanger challenge you can buy the blank from me at 20% off if you're a member of the challenge while I was chatting I painted his little face this uh, flesh tone color and as you can see I painted right over the top of those etched lines but you can still see the lines underneath so when it dries, we'll go back and paint the eyes, the mouth, and the cheeks and all of that right on top of the face color. There won't be any problem. Okay. How do Painters Clubhouse members do the fall challenge? Tony, if you're a member, you are a member of the Painters Clubhouse, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, all you have to do is go over and request to join the group. And Facebook is already set up so that members of the clubhouse immediately get access to the group. So I don't even have to approve you in. If you're already a member of Painters Clubhouse, it'll automatically let you into the group. And everything you need will be right inside the group units section. And the challenge starts next Monday. Amanda says, will it give you a link right away? Nothing happened. Uh, it should. If it doesn't, I can go back and put all the links in the comments. If anybody received it, um, if you will, copy and paste it in the comments for us. Otherwise, I can post it in here after the video is over. Can't wait until you're able to order a blank and try your own hand at painting. Laura, you should join us. And if you have a jigsaw or know somebody has a jigsaw, you could totally cut your own and save the, save the money. You wouldn't even have to order the blank. For $10 for this challenge, you get the, um, you get the template. And all you have to do is print off that template at home and trace it on the wood so that you can paint with us. That's for the fall door hanger challenge. I don't want to repeat myself too much, but I know a lot of new people are joining and they're like, what is she talking about? You can read all about what you get. It's only $10 to sign up. This is kind of like a little appetizer for those of you who are interested in joining Painters Clubhouse. Because as you can see, there's only 14 days left until Painters Clubhouse opens. And um, I'm so excited. It's going to be open on September 24th. Painters Clubhouse is my monthly membership group where I teach you how to paint door hangers with confidence. And we've got an amazing community of women that are so supportive and kind. And they just... Everybody who's in there just loves it. We, we have such a great community, and we all love each other, support each other. There's never, ever any drama or negativity, and I can say that with full confidence because if there ever was, we'd be booting it out immediately. <laughs> okay, Kimberly says, I paid for it and downloaded some of your $5 templates. The Frankenstein set only has the outline. How do you get the template with the other lines? Okay, so here's the thing. A lot of the older templates in my shop only have the outlines to them. But we are working diligently to update all of those since we've learned about new ways to do this. Um, let's see. I'm making sure that only his hat is brown. So that's what I've painted so far. Um, so we are working diligently to update those. And those two actually are on my list to update this week. And so they will probably be released again on Friday. And if you've already purchased it, you won't have to purchase it again. We will just update the download link and it will send you an email saying, hey, there's a new version of the file you purchased if you want to go and get it. So, so easy. You don't even have to repurchase it. You'll just be able to get the new version with all the lines in it. What time can we enter the Painters Clubhouse in 14 days, not 18 days? Um, probably as early as 8 or 9 a.m. Um, as soon as it is an active link, I will probably come live here on Facebook. What day is that? It's a Tuesday. So, yeah. I don't do anything on Tuesdays. I'm home. So that morning, as soon as the link is live, I will come live here in my page. My assistant will send out an email to everyone on the wait list. Actually, the wait list people may get an email earlier than that. So if you're already on the wait list, um, wait list does not mean, and I've had a few people ask, wait list does not mean, I feel like I'm shouting, that only a few, only a certain number of people will get in. Wait list just means you're excited and you're waiting to get in. And so we put your name on a list so you will be the first people to be notified so that you guys don't miss out on the early bird bonuses that we're going to have and you can get in there before everyone else. Um, it's just, it just makes sure that you get early access. So you guys, if you're on the wait list, will get an email before anyone. And then, of course, that morning I'll go live here on my page to announce that the doors are open. So I'm excited. You don't think you could do this and now you love it? Oh, you didn't think you could. Angie, that's awesome. See, that's what I like to hear. I like to hear that people thought they couldn't do something and then they gave it a try because they watched one of my videos and then now they've discovered this new thing that they're obsessed about, door hanger painting. That is my goal, to make all of you obsessed with door hanger painting because it is the most fun and relaxing hobby there is that can also make you money. All right, I need a different brush for that. So yeah, you can totally make money selling your door hangers or teaching paint parties, and it's very relaxing, and I feel so blessed to get to do this every single day. 
as a full-time business. And you can too. We've painted the nose and we've painted this. We need to do all of the yellow next. Are any of you guys just popping on here that haven't seen the leaf that we're talking about? So the fall door hanger challenge we're talking about, you're going to get to sign up for $10 to learn how to paint this. If you're not new to door hanger painting, let's say you've been painting for a while and you're just like, I just want to join in on the fun. You are totally welcome. You do not have to be a beginner in order to join in on the door hanger challenge. Um, some people may join because they want to just get the template and the, that lettering template. Some people may join because they want to learn how to um, do that ombre uh, look where the colors fade into each other. And so um, as a door hanger painter, you're always going to be learning new techniques and coming up with new ideas. And sometimes signing up for stuff like that is a great way to advance your techniques. And really that's what the Painters Clubhouse is for also. It teaches you how to paint your first door hanger how to um, paint more door hangers. And then of course, if you've been doing this for a while, sometimes you may just be in it for the community because you just need a sisterhood of, of women who understand you, who love the same thing you do. You need some friends um, that, that enjoy what you enjoy. And um, one of my favorite things, which we actually did last night, is we get on a Zoom call together. We call it our round table paint night. And we get together and we paint um, and just girl talk. And so last night we all got on the Zoom call and there were like 15 or so of us and we just laughed and talked and had the best time. And we shared ideas and tips for doing paint parties and it was just so fun. So if you're not doing something like that with a group of women, you definitely need to be. It is so uplifting. It's one of my favorite times of the month. Okay, what else is yellow? The little thing under his neck. I forgot about this part. Many of the people who join Painters Club Clubhouse have never even painted a door hanger before. And um, some of them have been it for six months just watching and learning and finally painted their first door hanger last week. So there is no wrong way to do this. You don't have to already know how to paint. You don't have to be a quick start who like me who does everything the first time you think of it. When does the Facebook group open? You missed that part. Stephanie, it's open right now. All you have to do is go sign up. It'll give you a link to go join. Jessica says, are the door hangers supplied in Painters Clubhouse? Um, no, we, we give you the templates, just like we're doing with this little challenge. We give you the template because I want you guys to learn how to cut it yourself. It is so empowering when you learn how to cut a door hanger yourself because it's just like, I think of the Rosie the Riveter who wears the cute little bandana and she's like, and that's the, that was the pose I did after the very first door hanger I painted. I was like, I am woman. Hear me roar. This is awesome. I just took this ugly piece of plywood and I cut a cool shape out of it. And then after I painted it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. Because I felt like, you know, I took something that was just ugly and boring and I turned it into something amazing. And so it's so empowering. And so that's what I want each of you to accomplish. Um, you might not feel like you want to buy the door hanger right off. I mean, sorry. You might not feel like you want to cut the door hanger right off. You may want to just learn for a little while um, and purchase the blanks and then learn to cut them later. And that's totally fine. We do have people who do that. But a lot of people who finally do end up picking up the jigsaw and cutting their door hanger, they're like, oh my goodness, why did I wait so long to do this? This is amazing. Uh, I feel so amazing after having done it and I'm so proud of myself. And so a lot of times they wish they had learned sooner. So to answer your question in a shorter way, in Painters Clubhouse, we do not supply the blanks for you unless you purchase them separate. Now we do give you, and also in the fall challenge, we give you this coupon, a 20% off coupon to go buy the blank in the shop. So that's an exclusive coupon to members of the challenge and members of the Painters Clubhouse. You can go and use that 20% off coupon. Now for the challenge, that coupon is only good on the fall leaf that we're going to be painting. But in the Painters Clubhouse, that 20% off coupon, you can use it as many times as you want on as many blanks and templates as you want. And it doesn't expire. I mean, it does expire eventually because eventually we have to change it because people come and people go from the group. So eventually we do change that password. But you get the new one. And so you can use it as often and as many times as you want as long as you're a paying member of Clubhouse. 
I'm just giving this a second coat real quick. I promise I'm not ignoring your comments. I just can't see them very well. So I'm trying to catch some of them. Where do you sign up for the beginner, beginner paint class? Are you talking about the fall door hanger challenge or the beginner's course? Because Friday I mentioned a beginner's course. That's a little bit of a step up from the door hanger challenge. The door hanger challenge is more like an appetizer. Yes, 20% off is awesome. It is great. Oh goodness, my eyes are blurring. <laughs> I think I need to get glasses. How did you get started painting door hangers? Great question, Lisa. Um, when my husband was deployed to Afghanistan in 2013, 2014, um, I started getting bored, staying at home with my two little boys and I needed some social interaction. And so I started having what I called at the time Pinterest parties in my own home and I would invite women over we would everybody would like bring a recipe that they found on Pinterest and every month we did this once a month I would select a project on Pinterest to do and so a couple of different times we painted door hangers and I had never cut a door hanger with a jigsaw before but I came to my dad and I was like if I draw something on wood can you show me how to cut it out and my dad was like uh yeah I guess and he started to kind of do it for me, but then I was like, no, Dad, I need you to, like, show me how to do this. I want to be able to do it myself. And so he gave me some tips and let me go at it. And um, it was hard because the blades I was using were not ideal, but, you know, eventually I've learned. And so we had a, um, we had a couple of those little Pinterest parties where we painted the door hangers. And um, then my husband came home from Afghanistan, and after he came home... Um, we needed some extra income. And so I took that um, talent that I had kind of developed in painters er, in the Pinterest parties and I turned it into a business. And I started doing um, door hanger paint parties. I had done like direct sales before, like through Jamberry Nails or Uppercase Living. I had even tried Mary Kay. Um, so I knew kind of like what a home party was kind of like where you would have like a hostess and the hostess would get rewards and stuff like that. So I started doing paint parties and I mean, you really do not have to be an experienced painter to start doing paint parties. There are some people who teach paint parties who just say, here's the paints, here's the stuff, go for it. <laughs> I was not that type of instructor. I am a natural born teacher. I love to teach and I love to help people learn something. And so, um, even though I had only actually painted myself just a handful, I mean, I mean less than like 10 door hangers myself, I started teaching door hanger uh, paint parties. And so that was kind of how I got started. And I got used to doing the paint parties and I loved them. It was a great way for me to get out of the house, make some extra money, spend some time with some other women. And it was just so fulfilling. I just dripped some paint. Let me grab a baby wipe. <laughs> My white paint kind of dripped right there on my scarecrow's face. No problem. So now I'm just filling inside these uh, etched lines right on top of his face to paint his eyes and stuff. It's really easy once you um, get the background painted. You just go right on top of it with the other colors. And I can still see those lines really well. Um, let's see. If we order a blank now, when would it ship out? Usually within four to five days. It kind of just depends. Now, these challenge blanks, I will definitely put priority on because I want you guys to get them as soon as possible since the challenge starts on Monday. So if you sign up tonight and you uh, go ahead and buy your blank tonight because in the email you get, you'll get a link and a coupon, um, it will probably ship out before the weekend, so you will most likely get it like Saturday or Monday. Um, do you sell other templates? Yes, I sell lots of templates. Go check them out on my website. I have over like 300 templates. Okay, next I need to paint all of the little colors up here, but what I want it to do, I want it to be, man, I meant to create a time-lapse video of me painting this and I got busy and Forgot to set it up and do it. Ugh. I love time-lapse videos. <laughs> totally forgot to get it going. Oh well. I'll just have to see what I can do. Maybe I can turn this video into a time-lapse video. 
I think it's because Facebook was glitching and kept shutting down on, on me and I kept having to restart it. So I got distracted. Um, but anyways, what I was saying was is I'm going to paint white first on this little hat band because I want the colors on the hat band to be nice and bright. And I don't want any of them to be dull. And so if you put white behind them, they'll be brighter. Kind of like a primer coat. <laughs> Lisa said she just did her first time laps. They're fun, aren't they? Challenge says sold out. Uh, whoops. I don't think there was a limited quantity set on there, but maybe I messed it up. Hannah will fix it, y'all. <laughs> Hannah knows all the things. Hannah is my assistant. She knows all the things about the shop. Um, so she'll go in there and fix it if it needs fixing. So hang in there. Um, because if you can't sign up right now, we will send out like an email or something about it this week. If you're on the email list, we will also post about it here in the Facebook group. Um, so, you guys will get the link for it if you haven't already. Oh, it's saying challenges sold out. Well, hopefully Hannah's watching and knows that it's saying that and she can go in and fix it. We're giving this little guy some polka dots. That looks good. Um, thank you guys for letting me know. The leaf cutout is sold out. Good grief. I must not, that's what I get for trying to set this up by myself <laughs> and not letting Hannah set it up for me. This afternoon I got impatient and I was like, you know what, I can do this. I'll just set it all up on my own and I'll get it all going in the shop. I should have just let Hannah do it because she knows what she's doing. I probably goofed something up. All right, I've got a slightly darker yellow and I'm just going to put some little streaks in his hair to kind of make it look more like straw. This is like a, uh, I think it's called True Ochre by Deco Art. They also make a color real similar to it in Apple Barrel called Golden Sunset. And so I'm just doing some little streaks in his hair. Charlie, uh, my daughter, has been watching... Lion King earlier today. So the Lion King theme song is going through my head. The Hakuna Matata song. And she says, Mama, sing it. She loves singing Disney tunes. Okay, giving those eyes another coat. And I probably need to give the nose another coat. You love my work from Costa Rica. Awesome. Welcome. Hello, Pinky. What a cool name from Texas. Welcome. I'm just not super, te I mean, like, I know just enough technology to be dangerous, and I'm sure I probably did something wrong, so no worries. If you're wanting to sign up bad enough, just hang out. Probably by the end of the video, Hannah will have it fixed, and if she doesn't, then by tomorrow we will have it fixed, and we'll get it up on the website for you guys. Um, <laughs> okay, so my brown hat kind of has streaky paint, but I kind of don't care because I want it to look kind of rustic. So, before we move forward with doing more colors down here, and because I forgot to grab a paper plate or something, we're just going to use a paper towel, and I'm going to show you guys how to distress this little hat. So, I'm going to do like a line of black paint on my paper towel, and I've got this ancient, cruddy Dollar Tree paintbrush that I've had for like four years. It's so sad looking. We're going to dip it in this black paint just a little. And you can kind of dab it off a little bit to see how much you've got. And then we're just going to streak it back and forth across the hat. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a moment a little better. I know y'all probably can't see the effect where you're at. But this just creates a really cool dry brush technique. And if you do it on the edges, it looks really cool. And you just streak it across the middle. This is kind of how I do like a faux wood grain look too. Awesome. All right, we're not even gonna bother worrying about washing that out right now. Let me show you, see the, the technique that I'm talking about? That really cool black streaked look? That's what I wanted this hat to look like. 
Do you wash out your egg cartons? No, I just toss them, Tracy. I have tons of them. Everybody I know brings me egg cartons. Um, how, does, how do you find time to paint your nails? Uh, but once about every three weeks, I go to the nail salon for some girl time and I get powder dip done on my nails and it lasts for three weeks. Do you have a video on the pumpkin that says fall, y'all? Yes, Joyce. It's in last fall's videos. So you're going to have to scroll way back in my Facebook live videos to last fall to find that video. Um, it might even be linked in that blog post. I don't even know because we shared a blog post this week about it. And it might even be linked in there, but I'm not sure if it is or not. All right. The colors that we're going to put on this hat band are the red, the blue, the green, and yellow. I need a red. I have all the other colors already in here. All right, let me clean up my workspace here for a second. I've got so many paint bottles out that I can't move anything. Okay. How do you keep your dots from being spotty with the sponge? Um, when I do the dot, I thought I got my boob in it again. When I do a dot, I push down and I do a gentle twist and I lift up and then I mean, they do look a little bit texturized, but I just, I mean, I don't worry about it. Like, I just let it be. Where do you get the Scarecrow crown cut out? Um, I have the template for it in my shop. You now we're just going to do stripes. I may need to alternate paintbrushes here. Let's see how we can do this. Green, red. I may make my stripes just a little wider. Yeah, this paintbrush is terrible. <laughs> Must be one Charlie has let paint dry out and it's not flexing at all. Okay. Let me make this green one just a little wider. And then I need a blue one. We're going to have four paintbrushes going at one time. One for the blue. Do you guys have any questions about Painters Clubhouse that you need me to answer? Like, what is holding some of you guys back? Are you feeling like not sure you can do it? Um, is it money? Because it's $37 a month. Um, does anyone have a problem with the links not working? If they're not, don't worry about it. Mickey, we will post the links in the comments after the video is over. If you are a Painters Clubhouse member, though, you can just go ahead and join the challenge group and you'll be admitted immediately. No need to wait. Painters Clubhouse members get in for free. What were we talking about? I've already gotten distracted and forgot what I was saying. Oh, I asked if y'all had any questions about Painters Clubhouse. What is Painters Clubhouse? You're new. Cheyenne, it is my monthly painting membership where I teach you how to paint two door hangers every single month. And um, we grow your confidence. We uh, help you with your hand lettering, your bow making, and all the things. We have an amazing community of women that support you while you do all of this. You have a, a place where you can share your photos and be uplifted and ask questions. And then once a month, we all get together on a Zoom call and we chat like, uh, like silly girls. And we all just sit around and talk and paint at the same time. It's usually about twice a month that we do this. We just did it last night. I snapped a picture of all of us and put it on my Instagram stories. So I don't know if y'all are following me on Instagram. But if you're not, go find me on there and check out the Instagram stories to see the picture that I posted last night of all of us um, chatting during the round table paint night. That's what we call it. What's after red? Blue is after red. I've got four paintbrushes going here in my hand at one time. When is the party course starting? If you're talking about the fall challenge, that starts next Monday, the 16th, but you can go ahead and sign up now for, it's $10, and you get uh, the template and all of that now, and the jigsaw tutorial and all now, so that you can go ahead and have your blank cut out. You can already purchase your supplies, all of that sort of stuff, so that you'll be ready to get started with us on Monday. I need to make this a little wider. And then after blue comes yellow. You're just not crafty at all. You feel like you couldn't do it. 
Well, Kayla, um, I don't know if you saw on here, but somebody a little while ago commented on here that they didn't think they could do it either. I think her name was Angie. And she said she surprised herself at, that she was actually able to do it. I honestly believe that anybody who has a desire to learn how to do this and puts their mind to it and doesn't like immediately give up as soon as they feel like they've failed can learn how to do this. Like it's a skill anyone can learn. It's not just a talent that I suddenly was born with. I was not born with a paintbrush in my hand. Um, I have always loved creating and being crafty, but I wasn't always good at it. So um, I do feel like it's something I can teach anyone to do if they want to bad enough. That doesn't mean that you have to dedicate every single day of your life to it in order to be good at it. It just means that you have to be willing to try and not give up the first time you feel slightly defeated at it. Because you are going to have moments when you're like, this did not turn out like I hoped. I actually had one of those moments earlier today when I was painting that fall leaf door hanger. I started to do the lettering on it and I was like, something is not right. And I ended up painting over the original lettering and redoing it. Because I was like, it's just not right enough. It's not perfect enough for everybody. I want it to look a certain way. And so I completely redid the lettering in a different color so that it would look the way I wanted it to look. So even I have moments when I feel defeated and feel frustrated and, and think, well, crap, I'm going to have to redo this. But if you can get past those moments and just do it anyways, you will grow. You will learn things. You will improve. And next time you'll do better. Janine says, not to sound crazy, but is it cheaper to buy the blank or cut yourself? To cut yourself. Now, initially, if you don't even have a jigsaw and you have to buy one, you'll have that initial cost, but it's always going to be cheaper to cut yourself. Can you sign up for the fall leaf and be um, out of town and watch later? Yes, absolutely. She's talking about this fall door hanger leaf challenge, so if you're just now joining us, you can sign up to learn how to paint this for $10 to get busy finishing painting this. We are so close to done. Um, I need some black paint. We're going to do some accents and highlights, which are my favorite part. And I did get my arm in the blue paint. I have to add a touch up right here. This is how I touch up sometimes. I literally dip my finger in the paint and I touch the spot that needs touching up. Paint his little eyes. He looks funny without eyeballs. time is it? 9.15? Oh my goodness. Now I'm just following these cute little etched lines that are on here to make the face. Hey, bro. Okay. I gotta finish this quickly. They said the four-year-old is crying. Okay, so I'm just doing really light little touches with my brush. Using a round tip brush with some black to kind of create like a little bit of a rustic outline on some of this. And I'm, tr I'm not trying to do it perfect. I actually like the slightly scratchy brush look because it makes it look a little bit more rustic for us for a scarecrow. The circles are already etched on there with the etched lines because it's a an etched door hanger. So I didn't really have to like um, freehand them. I just had to follow the lines. No big deal. But I have been doing this a long time and I promise that the more you do it, the easier it will be for you too. I can paint a door hanger now in the fraction of a time that it used to take me. It used to take me a good two to three hours to paint a door hanger, especially if I wasn't sure like what I was doing or how I was doing it. And now I can do one way faster in like 45 minutes or less. Okay, now we've got to do, I'm going to go back and do some lines on the eyes too, but I need a thinner brush for that. So for right now we're just going to, okay. This is what I get for going let live live late at night when it's time for the kids to be in bed. I'm sure their school teachers will appreciate it tomorrow when they're sleepy. Okay, we're just putting some cute little wiggly lines and stuff on the hat. Let's see. 
and then um, I'm going to do just a little bit kind of like in between some of these stripes not like a solid line but just a rough almost dry brush between the lines and then I'm going to switch to a smaller black brush or brown tip brush with black paint let me water that down just a little bit because it's getting a little bit dry I'm sorry if I miss anybody's comments. I promise later I will go back and re, re um, look through all the comments and answer anybody that I missed. I love reading comments. Just sometimes I have to do it later. And you can do parts of this with, whoops, with a paint pen. If using a paintbrush kind of scares you. I think I may actually go back with a paint pen and do some of the little stitches because those look, I'm looking at my picture that I drew on my iPad over here. Um, so let me get a black paint pen and do those parts. Will it help practicing on your iPad? I kind of think it will. Like it, it has helped me learn about like which colors look good with certain things. And so, um, I like doing it on my iPad first because it helps me decide on what colors I'm going to be using. Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm going to do a little line around his nose. And then I'm going to do some little stitches. Those little stitches are what just make it. Okay, I'm looking to make sure I didn't miss any details that I wanted to put on here. All right, I think for the most part, we're getting close to be done. It just still doesn't look done to me. Like I feel like it's missing some something. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white and do like a little highlight up here. Maybe a little bit here, a little bit on these. Little bit of white. That's what it's missing. It doesn't have any white. I knew I was getting in a hurry and forgetting some things. Oh, and then some little white highlights on his shirt. And then his little his collar, I guess you would say. On his cheeks. A little bit on his nose. Okay. I think he's complete, guys. Our little scarecrow is finished. Um, yes, they're Uniposca paint pens, Melissa said. Very good. And I do use the Procreate app on my um, iPad. Do I paint the back? No, I just leave it. And it's pretty clean, really. See, I don't really have to worry about it. Okay, so if you want to join us for the fall door hanger challenge, I'll show you what it looks like one more time. For 10 bucks, you can learn how to paint this beautiful fall leaf. It comes with a lettering template, so you don't have to freehand the lettering. It's two videos that show, one shows you the background technique, the second video shows you the lettering, and there's actually a third video that shows you how to make this cute little bow. And so we're going to walk you through your very first door hanger step by step. All you have to do is say the word link down below, go and sign up for $10, get inside the Facebook group, download your template, cut out your blank, or you can use the 20% off coupon to order your blank from our shop. And if you enjoyed this little scarecrow and want to paint one of your own, you can say link and it will also give you the link for the template or the blank, whichever one you want to get. Or if you just want to buy it painted but from me, you can do that as well. So I hope you guys join Painters Clubhouse with me. It opens in just 14 days. Go to paintersclubhouse.com to get on the wait list and be the first ones to be notified. Um, thank you guys so much for sprinkling the love across Facebook. If you did that, please say so in the comments so that you can be entered because somebody will be getting a blank one of these to paint on their own. Um, and I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I will see you guys again on, let me think, Friday for Friday Fab Five. See you guys later. Bye.